the year is 2021 and I am more than ready now to hail my evil robot overlords. Here is the Nuro R2, so it's making a lot of commotion right now in the tech space. It is a driverless delivery bot that's going to work for Domino's, deliver you pizza and all of this kind of stuff. It's very narrow, so it's narrower than a normal car because it doesn't need like, you know, the steering wheel and, you know, two seats and all this kind of stuff. It's got a protective bumper on the front, which I presume is to avoid killing people when it runs them over. And it's got a 360 degree sensor at the top, which is designed to spot obstacles like children running on the road and all of this kind of stuff. You can see that when it arrives in your house, you know, it opens up these, uh, these doors on the side and you can then reach in and pick up your, uh, your pizza. Here he is, Domino's guy, you know, he sends the, the food in the bot and the bot then like, you know, has to dodge the Domino's uh, character dude, which looks like a leprechaun, right? Who's, who's, you know, adding thunderbolts and breaking, you know, the earth trying to stop the bot, but the bot cannot be stopped. This is something that, <laughs> that is terrifying <laughs> to me. You cannot stop the bot. And it goes off on its merry way. Imagine this, you know, every, everybody in this, uh, you know, future dystopia, where everything is delivered by these, these like drones. One of the pictures here reminds me of Black Mirror. This house here, this looks scary as hell. <laughs> you know, it's a lonely guy going back into the house and the only human contact he has is with this, <laughs> this neuro delivery bot. <laughs> it's terrifying, it's absolutely terrifying. Uh, again, you know, if I just add some different music to this scene, it makes this whole picture look a bit more different. Right? Terrifying. You may be wondering, you know, what is the point of the delivery bot? I mean, is it that bad to have a Domino's motorbike driver deliver your pizza? In terms of pizza, actually, the US economy spent $14 billion on pizza delivery orders, right, in 2020. $14 billion. Right, and half of these actually went to Domino's. Partners of Neuro include uh, Walmart, Chipotle, CVS Pharmacy, and even FedEx. Obviously they have delivery costs to factor in, so if they can reduce this delivery cost down to zero, who knows what the future will entail. And you may also be thinking that, oh, it sounds you know, pretty interesting, can't wait to try it in the next 10 years. But actually, if you live in Woodland Heights in Houston, Texas, you can actually order a Domino's pizza right now and get a Neurobot come to your house, nearly run you over, and then you can pick up your food there. So the main concern about the Neuro R2 robot is if it will be a friendly neighborhood robot or an absolute menace on the street. Now these questions have been raised by the American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators. Their questions include how will the R2 function if a small child darts on the road from the passenger side whilst also a school bus approaches it from the driver's side? <laughs> Um, to, to be honest, like if I was driving, I'd probably run them both over. Uh, that seems like a pretty tricky uh, situation. And also, you know, would it be able to protect itself from cybersecurity hacks or even cyber hijacking? Plus, there's also, you know, other issues, you know, of self-driven cars generally. Like, you know, can they predict human irrational behavior? Could they predict, you know, pedestrians when, you know, they just jump in the street and all these kinds of things? Like, can you program human behavior into a robot algorithm. And, and I suppose there's always the economic question, like, you know, uh, it, this is another step of us moving the workforce out from, you know, people uh, and into, I guess, robots. The robots are taking our jobs. But anyway, that's Neuro. It sounds like a pretty cool project. I'm very keen to see how it goes. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. And once again, don't forget to thank our sponsors, the evil robot overlords for this video. All right, cheers guys.